We're gonna try the new Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. A lot of big claims coming from Callaway. We're gonna pair it with the Denali Black here that Matt's got in his hands and see if they're lying to us. Yes. <laughs> it's it's brutal. Yeah, I don't even so enjoy hitting it here. So initial thoughts, uh, Crown is carbon, uh, which we've seen a lot of. It's yeah. busy, but it's okay, like the way they've done it. It's what we've seen before. Mm -hmm. To me, I mean, it really does look like Paradigm 2.0. Yeah, <clears> very not, much it's so. It's not a massive change. It looks a hair more draw bias than something I would typically play, mm -hmm. but not bad. Looks neutral-ish compared to some of the other older Max versions they've had have been very, very draw bias. Definitely more draw bias. I noticed last year, which I'll be totally honest with Callaway's Paradigm product, is that Pulling some of them out of the wrapper, they didn't feel very solid, let's just say. And I say that because there was a few little spots where when they bonded the head with the carbon, it just didn't look as clean as it could yeah, have. Yeah, not, not perfectly finished. Yeah, obviously it's just the manufacturing process wasn't nailed down, but like this year, all of them look perfect. I do like the slider weight on the sole. I've always liked that. For sure. It's very easy, easy for people to understand. I mean, I'm excited to try it and kind of see what we get out let's of it. Let's find out if the face does see what if they it's say. as good as they say. Not quite catching it. I don't know if this shaft is exactly for me. This is the low launch one, right? Mm -hmm. It's efficient off of miss hits. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like this shaft. This shaft is very, very good, but not in my hands. Uh, I have no feel for it. I don't time it well, and that's not a knock on this shaft. To talk positives, I haven't hit the club face. Smash factor is still fairly high for how poor I've hit it. I would agree. If you're generally somebody who launches it low, I doubt you're gonna want the Denali black. You may wanna think of something else. That's true. This is not a review on the shafts. This is a review on the head. I was hitting it so poorly with the other shaft, it wasn't really fair for the head itself from a review standpoint. So I'm switching shafts. I'm gonna hit a few more, give you some results on something that I can actually find the club face with. Makes sense. Nope. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> Let me be a fast one. That is night and day better, man. Yeah, Nine that one clothes. just, I just feel it. Infinitely better. I can feel the head more, time it better. Ball's coming off like a bloody cannon. Face is very hot. Ball gets up in the air quickly, so launches up. Yeah. I've even teed some low launches up, spins right under control. Yeah. So we're doing all these things that, I mean, when you get launch and spin correct, and you amp up speed and it stays in the same window, you're onto something. Yeah, just for you guys at home, I mean, watching Matt hit the first shaft, it wasn't giving the head a chance, right? I mean, it just, it wasn't, he wasn't hitting it solid enough, which is fine, that happens, that's why you come to a fitter. But after he switched that shaft and put that on there, he hit three of the best balls I've ever seen him hit. Like, and I'm not, I'm not, this is not. No, they were bombs. I'm being 100% honest. Like, he rarely carries it 290 and runs it out past 300. He'll roll it out past 300, but you normally carry it like 265 to 275, yeah. 280 is a good one. 280 is really good. You just average 290. So, I mean, like, at 12 degrees of launch, he normally, first of all, does not produce that. And no, if you I'm do, nine you're and a half degree it, guy when I'm good. <laughs> you'll spin it at like 3,000 when you yeah. do that. So, I mean, like, he, he touched 171 ball speed, which is like, I mean, I hate to say this, but that's like approaching what I get, um, which is I'm generally significantly faster than Matt is. So, Way I mean, faster. He, he knew he felt pretty good today, but that's those numbers are sensational. Like, I this is my first impression of the AI Smoke lineup as well. And, like, I mean, I had my own kind of thoughts and opinions, but that blew it away. Um, that was remarkable. That's stand, weight stand. This is not a fitting. This is just stock neutral standard, 10 and a half degrees with one of their stock yeah, shafts. I haven't touched it. I just tagged it. <laughs> we can amp, amp it so, up with customization and fitting and stuff, but oh my goodness, is yeah, there be, a lot in the tank. It would be tank. hard for me to touch that, to be honest. If somebody hit that good. good, I would go, what else do you want me to do? Yeah. I mean, you're going to hit every fairway on the planet if you continue to hit three yeah, shots like that. That's solid. So, that looks like golf. Good, good thing I switched good, shafts. Good thing there's no I was about to talk thing. a lot of trash about this thing until we found something that matched up a little better for yeah, me. Yeah, didn't, so. take, didn't take too long. No, 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 no. I mean, the original shaft, uh, when they're talking about all the hot spots on their face and how much more forgiving it is, <laughs> the original chef was not showing me that. You're starting to question that a little bit. Yeah. Um, switched it up, found something that I timed better, and I got to say it performed. Dude, that was remarkable. You don't, you don't generally give me that. Like, 
I've seen hey, you hit, man. No, okay, well, you know what I mean. You always get generally pretty good ball speeds, but that launch conditions is just something that I'm not used to seeing for you. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was initially just very, very impressed. I mean, I think part of, of my athleticism. That's what it was. Yeah. Right. I've seen Matt hit a million drivers now, right? And I know that what he struggles with, and he just didn't have that struggle with that, right? I yeah. mean, he, he launched it high, he didn't spin it very much. He was able to hit up on it and hit, find the center of the face. Um, a lot of really good things there. So, I mean, obviously it's, it's a new version of what they had last year, which I think Gen 2 for most of these manufacturers is always better. Okay, so most people wanna know who's at four. Um, if you're a person who, who struggles with your carry distance, but maybe your overall distance is good, um, this is something you want to consider. Yeah. What I really liked about it was it got the ball up in the air quicker and it kept spin under control. So for me, a lower launch player, yeah. having something that didn't balloon it but got it up in the air, that's a big difference. Yeah. So when we compare it to the older one, mm -hmm. my initial launch was significantly higher. Yeah, you're better with that for sure. So yeah, I mean, when we compare the best Callaway driver from before, yeah. this one, outperformed it. If you're someone who loves your standard paradigm, like last year's paradigm, you really should think about trying it. Because if you love this head and this profile, it is just a better version of it. So I mean, if obviously you don't have the older version, definitely try it out anyways. Mm -hmm. But if you are someone who's in the market for something new, um, give it a shot. Yeah, it's probably worth looking at. Yeah, I would say even if you do have the older one, Gen 1 is, Gen 2 is blown it away. Yeah, so. it's solid. Yeah. yeah. So thanks thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. If you did enjoy that Callaway review, there's another one on our channel. We suggest you watch it. It's the best Callaway driver from last year. So we reviewed a couple of them. So you'll see kind of a foray of what Callaway's done for the last couple of seasons. And it's definitely worth a watch. One more, and then you give a concise. Okay. Yeah. Just thoughts about the first five or whatever. That T, I was like, that leaning is leaning that thing. Guys change T height six times. I can't hit it off a high T. Let me tee it up off a high T. He's gonna prove me wrong here. Watch, he's such a, such a shyster. Watch me. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen one spin at ten spin. grand? <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> supposed to be professional. What the fuck was that? I'm not a prof. You're the professional. No, I know. 115 ball speed. Good maintenance off the fucking. When you hit it on the AI smoke logo, it doesn't really come off very fast. Never done that. Okay. Anyways, sorry. I I'll shut up.